Hey everybody, it's Tuesday and we are going to look at the next couple of pages of The Lunch Lady and The Cyborg Substitute. Yesterday, I hope you joined us. If you didn't, go back and watch the first part of the story. Um, we learned a lot about the characters and we started looking at the lunch lady in particular and we were able to sort out positive and negative character traits that describe her. Um, we left off on her going in and spying on the substitute teacher who is being really mean to the kids and she kind of wants to get to the bottom of it because she doesn't really have a good feeling about it and she's with her friend Betty. So now the lunch lady and Betty are both in um, kind of the works to figure out what's going on with this guy. So let's see. Okay, so Betty's into, in the teacher's lounge, remember, distracting them with the cookies. And then the lunch lady's in the substitute teacher's room um, going through his briefcase. Fresh baked cookies? No, thank you. You sure? Negative. Just one bite? I said no. Look at the time. We should probably get back to our classrooms. Yes. Sorry about the cookies. So, dun dun dun. Now they're getting back into their rooms. Lunch lady's running out of time. Now she's on the computer. Interesting. She's looking up his stuff. Lunch lady, come on! Lunch lady, come in, lunch lady. I'm here, Betty. He's on his way. Get out! So she's telling him to come. She's telling her to come back. Thanks, Betty. I'm out of here. Rattle, rattle, rattle. What is this? So she ran out of time. The substitute teacher is back, and she got caught. I thought I left my briefcase on the right side of my desk. Back to correcting papers. Oh, but she didn't get caught because it looks like she used her rubber glove suction cups. So she used her gloves as suction cups to get underneath the table. And she snuck out without him noticing. Later on that day. Now today's focus is on setting. Take a look at this picture. What's the setting in this picture? It's in the cafeteria, right? It's in the cafeteria of their school. Just like it kind of looks like our cafeteria, but our tables are square. Do you want gravy on pizza? Yeah, it's good. Um, no thanks. That lunch lady will put gravy on anything. I think it's good. Hector, you are a troubled individual. He wouldn't eat, and he doesn't blink. And on that CD that I found were blueprints from robots, I think. I think he's plotting something. I'm, I'm following him after school today. Did you test his hair yet? Just waiting for the results. I'm telling you, they probably led very boring lives. Well then, let's find out. Today, after school, let's follow them home. Who's in? I don't know. It could be dangerous. Come on, I'm in. Think of the adventure. Think of getting in trouble. Hector, you're going with Terrence and me. That's that. So now they're going to go on an adventure to follow this substitute teacher home. Later on in science class. And finally class, there will be no homework. And tomorrow we will continue our discussion on the science of chocolate. Bring class dismissed. Wow, I can't believe it. Mr. Edison may just be the coolest teacher we have. Well, I know who's getting my vote for Teacher of the Year. Are you guys ready for Operation Lunch Lady? Oh, I'm ready. I really don't want to. Cool, let's grab our bikes and meet behind school in five minutes. So, that's Mr. Edison. He's a new teacher, new character. He's the science teacher. So we have the substitute teacher, the science teacher, Mr. Edison, okay? And Mr. Edison's kind of like the opposite of the substitute. Uh, Mr. Edison doesn't give out homework. They're studying fun things like 
the science of chocolate. So the kids really like Mr. Edison much better than the substitute teacher. I got him. And the lunch lady is with the kids. She's spying on this teacher with the kids. And she's using her cannoli noculars, which is binoculars made out of the dessert called a cannoli. I'm on him like cheese on macaroni. So now she's driving. She is using her little motorcycle and car to follow him. Which of these cars do you suppose is hers? Whoosh! Well, we'd better start pedaling. So they're all in this together. Lunch ladies driving, kids are on their bikes. So they're following the substitute teacher home to see what is actually up with him. Come on, Hector, pedal faster. Oh my. Or, oh my, Betty says. So I'm wondering what she found. He doesn't really look, he doesn't look like he's up to anything good. And she's looking really determined, the lunch lady. And we're going to leave today's reading at this. Looks like he went home. I wonder what he's going to be up to. I wonder if they're going to find anything um, for the lunch lady. I wonder if they're going to find anything um, that makes him out to be a good or bad person. So um, we'll find out tomorrow. So um, I hope you enjoyed this part of the book and we'll talk tomorrow. Make sure you click and do your setting assignment. You're going to draw the setting in the slides uh, given to you. Make sure you go and check that out. Okay. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.